Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on Python vs Rust by Simply Learn. In this session, you will go through a brief introduction to both languages that is Python and Rust. After knowing the basics, we will get to know about the differences between them. Further, we will learn about the cones of Python and cones of Rust. So, hey everyone, I am Abhisar Oja from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on Python vs Rust. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start with the introduction to Python. Python is an object-oriented, high-level, interpreted and multi-paradigm programming language. It was first introduced by Guido van Rossum in 1991. With highly readable code and a smart syntax, Python is perfect for those that are just starting their programming career. Python's versatility and resilience have made its used cases in various domains such as web applications, application development, data analytics, and artificial intelligence development. Now, let us know what Rust is. Rust is a multi-paradigm, general purpose, and a high-level programming language. It was introduced by Gradon Hore along with Dave Herman Brandon Ike and others at Mozilla Research. Rust focuses on safety, stability, performance, and safe concurrency, but made its growth and adoption across various industries. Now, we will start the comparison between Python and Rust. When we talk about performance, Rust takes the piece of cake as Python takes time to convert code into machine code. Python, being an interpreted language, interprets code line by line, whereas Rust provides high performance and security when compared to Python. The Rust code is directly compiled into machine code. It does not require any virtual machine or interpreter to do so, and it's around 12 times faster than Python. Rust ensures proper memory management and checks it during compilation. Now, we will compare the two on grounds of execution. Python is a dynamic style system that allows developers to develop software easily. In contrast, Rust is a static type system that makes programmers specify parameters from function arguments to constants, but it acts dynamically inside the function body. Moreover, Rust comes with a feature to handle exceptions at compile time, that is none. It allows programmers to run programs smoothly at the user end. Let's see how easy it is to learn and read these languages. Python provides simpler syntax and clearly defined code structure for a simpler development experience. Python documentation is highly readable that helps quickly develop scalable systems and has a good community support. In contrast, Rust comes with a steep curve as its use cases mostly are system programming. It also has simple documentation but is a little complex compared to Python. Rust has some complex features which makes it challenging to learn. Let's check error handling with both languages. Python throws an exception when an error is encountered and it notifies bugs after runtime. You have to wait until runtime to get addressable errors. Thus, its job is to only find errors and throw as exceptions. It doesn't provide any recommendations to fix these. On the other hand, Rust returns a value when an error is found, and it provides an easier and improved debugging experience than many other compiled languages. This experience is backed by its features like memory management, and in contrast to Python, it provides some recommendations to easily pinpoint and fix the issues. We'll see some applications of these languages. Python is used for web application development enterprise applications, data analytics, data visualization, and machine learning. Whereas, Rust is used in operating systems, gaming engines, file systems, browser components, and virtual reality engines. Microsoft introduced various components to make Rust grow more and prosper. Now, let's check how secure these languages are. Python possesses garbage collector, 
which makes programmers configure memory management and prevent any memory leaks. It cleans up the unnecessary memory while the program is running. Whereas Rust stresses on security and focuses on fixing memory leaks. It provides slack or heap to use during the compilation time and it clears the memory when it's no longer required. It eliminates the need to run a garbage collector constantly. Now we'll see some popular companies using these languages. First, we'll start with Python. First company we'll see is Instagram. It is mainly a visual social media platform. It uses Python in business logic, that is, exchange of data between the database and user interface. Next, we have is Quora. Quora is a question and answer social media platform. It has used Python to develop its application. Next, we have is Google. It uses Python as the official server side language along with C, Java, and Go. Also used Python in its most popular application that is YouTube. Next, we have is Spotify. It is an audio streaming and media services provider that uses Python for its backend services and data analysis. Spotify also sponsors international Python conferences, namely PyCon and EuroPython. Now, we will move on with companies using Rust. First, we will see Dropbox. It is a file hosting service operated by an American company that uses Rust for parts of its file synchronization engine. The engine is highly concurrent. They choose Rust over any other language. Next is Cloudflare. It is an American web infrastructure and website security company that uses Rust as core language. They have replaced Rust with C for its memory safe feature. Next we have is Figma. It is a collaborative web-based design tool for vector graphics and interface prototyping. Due to their rapid growth, they choose Rust to rewrite their multiplayer sync engine. Rust has helped them drop off the load from their servers. Next we have is Discord. It is an instant messaging and digital distribution platform. Users communicate with voice calls, video calls, text messaging, media, and files in private chats or as a part of communities called servers. Discord uses Rust in multiple places of their code base, both on the client and the server side. Now, after comparing both the languages, we should jump to see some cons of Python and Rust. First, we'll cover cons of Python. As it's an interpreted language, Python is slower compared to many compiled languages. Next is, some errors don't show up until runtime, which makes it difficult to find errors. Next cone is, it is weak in mobile computing. We'll see cones of Rust. Learning Rust is not easy when compared to other languages. That's why it has a higher learning curve. It has low level of monkey patching support than Python and Perl. Here, monkey patching refers to modifying a class or module at a runtime. And moreover, the compiler is slow as compared to some scripting languages. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section. Also, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Known. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.